Hello everyone. The first step is to create an Android project. An Android project contains the files that make up an application. To create a new project, first open Android Studio. From the dialog that you see, you have to choose Start a new Android Studio project. You should see uh, the new project wizard. In the first screen of the wizard, you have to enter application name. So let's write here uh, my app1. So that should be name without uh, space between uh, separate words. Uh, for the company domain, we can write something like uh, Android dot example dot um, com. So it could be any uh, company domain you wish to use. As you do this, uh, you will see the generated package uh, name change to uh, com example android my app1, which is just opposite of the co company domain. So these conventions uh, keep package names unique and distinguishes applications from each other on a device and a Google Play. Then press Next. Next screen allows you to specify details about which device you want to support. So uh, we will support tablets and phones, and we want to uh, have a minimum support for API 16. So you can choose any of those, but uh, API 16 will will run on application on approximately 99.2 of the devices. So we will learn about the different versions of Android in the next classes. Next. In this screen, uh, you are prompted to choose a template for the first screen of the application. You want to the most basic template available. So in this case, uh, choose empty activity and click next. In this window, we can change name for activity name and layout name. We keep them by default and press finish. Android Studio opens your project in a window as shown here. So you can close uh, the tip of the day. So the difference, uh, different panes of the project window are called two windows. So basically you can choose from these two uh, project, two window, package, and so on. Um, the best idea to uh, keep probably the project level. So you can expand the project level and uh, find files, for example, source file, main Java files, and main activity file. Uh, so also you will be able to see your layout in REST folder, REST layout and activity maximum. So when you open layout, you can see a graphical preview of the file. So if you uh, select text, so you will see uh, XML information of this uh, graphical preview. So basically design and text, just different representation of the same. So this is our hello world. And this is actually uh, the same hello world in text preview. So it's very convenient to work with this, uh, design in in a graphical preview. Well, let's start working with uh, empty activity. So I will delete uh, hello world. And I bring right now uh, a button that I want to uh, work with my application. So I will find button on the left side in the widget area. So widget is actually GUI element for Android application. So I'll drag and drop button 
And apparently this button will be not constrained to any of those uh, of the borders left, right, um, north and south. So if you run the application right now, your button pretty much will stick to the upper left corner, which is not desirable. So I want this button to be somewhere in the middle. So I will set up the constraint from the left border. So that's actually the uh, the circle is means set constraint to the left. This circle on the right means set constraint to the right. And basically, uh, you see on the right side a uh, navigation line. Actually, this uh, this line will give you uh, possibility to move a button to any location you want. So let's just go with 50%. So it'll be just exactly in the middle. Second, I may need to uh, bring the text view for the title of my application. There'll be just text view somewhere in the middle as well. And double click on this and uh, make a text with a name. Click button. So this will be just simply the text that I just want to be on the top. And I can change uh, the text size. If I open view properties and uh, I will go to the property text size. And can specify in how much I want. For example, let's go with the 36. That's probably be what we want. And uh, we can change the index color as well. Just pressing these three dots. Uh, switch to color and change, say, for, uh, for example, to color green dark. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, so we didn't set up any constraint for this uh, text view. So I would advise to use left and right constraint to the, in the same way like we did for button. One constraint with the top, the click button will be constraints from the top. Um, so basically, this is the place where we want to increase right now the distance. So if you uh, press on that text view ID to, for, and expand distance to 16 or 24, you see basically how we increase the distance between uh, north border and text view. And also we'd like to set up constraints here between button and uh, text view. So it's 8 right now, we can put to 16 or make it uh, tw also 24. So that will be uh, basically constraint that, constraint that uh, define distance between text view and button. So when we're done with all of this, we have to press button infer constraints and run the application. So in this case, uh, the constraint is according to our needs and button it works. So if you uh, right now want to change position, you could just go with one button on the uh, top and uh, the text is going down. So this will be just another things to do it. So uh, probably drag and drop would be the best if you would do this change, but, but we cannot do it, right? Because we just restricted with the constraint right now. We go, we can go down, but we just cannot jump over the button. So what we need to do right now, we have to press clear all constraints. And when you clear, it basically can go uh, in any directions as we want. This uh, red, red cross means you can you don't have any constraints right now at this moment. And let's do the same again. So we will uh, connect constraints right now to the appropriate uh, positions and uh, 
probably it will be satisfied with this uh, how it looks like right now and press for constraint run again and button right now will be on the top side so what we can do right now we want by pressing button we want to uh, count uh, button clicks so basically we want uh, this field will be reflect how many times we uh, click the button right now we want to attach a method to the button so they kind of like uh, call back that method that will be called when button is clicked so just press on the button find on click property and write this method let's make it very simple on click and press enter so once we press enter this uh, this method is attached to this button so we have to implement this method right now in main activity so how to save our time just go back to the text tab find this method on click click on this method wait for this yellow orange bulb on the left side select create on click view in main activity and this method will be inserted to uh, main activity and you will be redirected to write this method right now okay so what we're gonna do in this case we want to uh, access the text field which is click button and for example check change the text button clicked so text view uh, click button has id text view so we can go back to main activity and first of all we have to find this uh, view by id so we have to find view by id r dot id dot um, text view and basically uh, once you found it we have to save it in the uh, variable text view something like this so we have to import uh, library android widget text view so please uh, press alt enter to do it so once you press alt enter the library is added on the top you can type it if you want and second we have incom incompatible types so we have to convert uh, the right side to result of the left side so in this case uh, we have to do the casting we have to write the name of the class we want to cast and finally we want to change the text once you press the button so text dot uh, set text and uh, we can change to button clicked something like this so there will be simple uh, button click uh, demo so let's uh, go back to to the application and let's run let's run again now let's see what happened So we have the same uh, interface so once you press button you have text button clicked and uh, of course nothing happened with uh, extra clicks because we did not implement second third and any consequent clicks so what i would like would like to do right now i want uh, also to display the number of clicks when i click the button so it's very easy to update so i would say here we need one more variable that will be updated when uh, the button is clicked so let's uh, assign initially variable number of clicks to zero and let's every time when you uh, click uh, on the button number of clicks variable will be increased and we can actually 
add this number of clicks variable to uh, existed message. You can just delete this dots and uh, make it a little bit better with word times. Let's try to run it after update. Okay, click button, button click to first time, second time, and so on. So it was a short video how to create uh, the first application and process button click. Thanks a lot.